At North York General Hospital, we strive to achieve excellence. Excellence in our business, which is to take care of patients. Excellence has a number of realms, and what we hear from our patients very regularly is that they want us to provide the best possible care, the best possible outcomes. They want us to, to have a safe environment for them. They also want to have access to care. They want to be able to be seen in a timely fashion. Access to care is something that's going to have to be a hospital-wide strategy. We consistently hear from our patients that access to care is one of the key indicators uh, of their patient experience. Patients coming to the emergency department usually are coming in, in in a fairly acute state and really need to access care as soon as possible. Waiting in the emergency departments can be very difficult. It's loud, it's noisy. We don't have all of the resources and physical facilities to treat patients. So the sooner we can get them to an inpatient bed, uh, the better it is for their care and treatment and their patient experience. The type of care that they would receive from our floor as opposed to an emergency department, we would be more available for them. We would be able to carry out all the orders because a lot of patients coming up, there's a lot of orders that have not been done and they've been ordered since that morning and they come up to us in the afternoon and we're playing catch up and we know that if they didn't do it, obviously there was no time for them to do it. I think it's important to constantly give them information regarding their care process. I think that alleviates some of um, you know, the stress that goes along with the patient. Information is vital because if they're informed, the anxiety goes down and they know that they're being thought of and they're not being sort of forgotten about. And always updating them. We're very busy, but maybe a couple more hours before the medical specialist on call can see you because they're covering the entire hospital. We've seen the volume of patients actually increase. There's been a tremendous growth in North York as well as in surrounding areas. The demography is changing, patients are aging more as well. We have no control over how many people come in through our front door. We see everybody, we have to see everybody. So um, it's, it's a team approach that starts with the emergency nurses, the emergency physicians, diagnostic imaging, our consulting services, uh, ancillary services. Uh, everybody works together to make the patient experience whole and uh, to try to improve uh, the turnaround times for patients into the system and out of the system. We know that patients that wait for long periods of time in the emergency department, their outcomes are different. They're not as good. That's not even to mention all the other issues that go on like privacy and, and uh, comfort. We really need to think about that you know, when we're dealing with our patients. So what can we do to help the flow of that patient through the system, through their journey, their healthcare journey, in the best way that we can? I think there probably are some process issues that we also can tackle. Transitions to diagnostic imaging, to different areas of the hospital, endoscopy for example, portering. We need to tackle all these different areas where we might be able to impact on length of stay in emergency department, access to beds on the floor, and of course that exit out of the hospital end of things that uh, we've been working on for a long time, that the ALC patient and how do we get them out. One of the things that we really want to try and accomplish in, in our pursuit of excellence at North York General Hospital is to really see all of the care that we provide, all of the services that we provide through the eyes of the patients. Uh, that's, after all, who we serve. We are here to serve patients. So we really need to design our processes, our spaces, and all of our care through the eyes of the patients. Access to care is a huge opportunity to improve the patient experience because patients don't want to be waiting in halls on stretchers any longer than they absolutely have to. So tackling unnecessary waits, optimizing flow is all about improving the patient experience. The patient that's in front of you is, is the imperative, but what about the one that's sitting in the emergency department waiting to have care, waiting to get into the endoscopy suite, waiting to get into an ICU bed? I think sometimes we don't sort of think about that patient and yet we're, we're as obligated to look after them as we are to look after the one that's right sitting in front of us. So I think it's keeping that whole perspective. And I think some people don't actually think that they impact on these things, that, that, um, that they don't have a role in making some of these things happen. And I can't think of very many people in this hospital that don't have an important role to play and, and maybe it's 
cleaning the room or maybe it's delivering the meal or maybe it's um, yeah, you know, giving that chest physio that that patient so desperately needs to get out of hospital. But everyone in this hospital has a really, really important role in making sure that we can do this and that it can happen and that in the long run it's actually better care for our patients.